Support Name Explain on Patreon for ad-free videos, exclusive podcasts and blog posts, and to help choose what names get explained. Click the link in the description. It seems that more often than not here at Name Explain, we're obsessed with names that have changed in one way or another. Whether that be when places get a new name, when places change their name in different languages, or when we cover older, now defunct names. The thing with just looking to names like this, however, is that it doesn't give us a complete picture of our planet. If we spend all this time focusing on places that change their names, we're giving many places a huge disservice, as there are many parts of the world that have never change their name. Take the capital of my home nation, London. London was founded all the way back in 43 AD by the Romans during their rule of Britain. It was founded under the name of Londinium and we've sticked with that name for pretty much 2000 years. And while 43 AD might seem like an incredibly long time ago, that's just the tip of the iceberg. Some still inhabited cities on our planet are so old they make London look like a baby. Not only are these cities older than in London, but like London, they still bear names that were given to them many years ago. So what still inhabited settlement on our planet actually has the oldest name? Well, before we delve into these incredibly ancient murky waters, let's lay out a few ground rules. We are looking for settlements that have been continuously inhabited. There are of course some incredibly ancient settlements out there, with the likes of Babylon and other cities in Mesopotamia, but a lot of those are now just historic remains, not actual functioning cities. And while some cities are certainly ancient and inhabited, they're excluded from this list because they decided to change their names, and names of course would we are most interested in today. In example, the Egyptian city of Luxor is incredibly ancient, but it was actually known by the name of Wazet in the past, so despite being so old, its name isn't as old. What seems to be the case here is that the ancient city was called Wazet, and then the city of Luxor was built around it. This seems to be the case with the modern town of Shush in Iran, which is home to the ancient city of Susa. I won't be including the likes of these on this list either. While I might be ruling out complete different names, I am however happy to accept names that have changed over the years but are fundamentally the same, like the aforementioned Londinium and London. While yes, these are technically different names, they are more a natural evolution of the name than outright changes. These are just my own rules I'm putting on myself, so if you don't agree with places I have or have not mentioned in this video then that's fine. Let me know what you would have included on your list down below. Fundamentally, this is just a silly video on the internet so don't put too much stock in it. With those silly rules out the way, we have to ask ourselves, where would be the best place to start this search for the oldest still in use place name? Well, let's start by ruling out what most likely isn't, and for that, we unfortunately have to rule out the Americas. For a huge variety of reasons, human civilizations didn't kick off in these lands until much later on, when compared to other parts of the world. And while there are slash were some pretty old civilizations here, they are pretty much infants when compared to other places. This same school of thought applies to Australia and New Zealand too. Likewise, South, Central, and Eastern Asia aren't the best places to look either. While there is some pretty ancient stuff here, it's not the oldest. This is because it's believed that Homo sapiens, that's you and me, started in Eastern and Southern Africa and migrated from there across the globe, which means the further from this point, the newer the civilization. So does that mean our oldest still in use place name may come from Eastern and Southern Africa? Well, not quite. While we started here, we were more hunter-gatherers here. We would have to migrate somewhere else for civilization as we know it to kick off. and that somewhere else was the Fertile Crescent. The Fertile Crescent is exactly what it sounds like, a crescent-shaped area of land which has extremely fertile soils. It's in the Middle East and covers all of slash parts of the modern nations of Iraq, Syria, Lebanon, Palestine, Israel, Jordan, and Egypt. The quality of the land here meant that Homo sapiens could farm properly and no longer worry about hunting or gathering. This meant settlements could be properly established. Societies and civilizations as we know it came from this part of the world. Despite this part of the world being so old, there are still cities founded here in ancient times that are still not only inhabited but have held onto their ancient names. Our best chance of finding the oldest still in use place name lies in the Fertile Crescent. Well, 
almost. An area of southern Europe seems to also have claim for ancient still in use place names. Basically, we're looking into the Mediterranean, or roughly the area encircled on this map. This part of the world is so ancient that we aren't exactly sure as to when exactly some of these cities were founded, or started using the name properly, meaning we don't have one definitive answer for this one I'm afraid. But we do have some incredibly old cities that still have incredibly old names. A great place to start is with the city of Damascus. This city to this day is the capital of Syria and many claim it to be the oldest continually inhabited city on our planet. It's believed that the city was established at some point in the 3rd century BC, which makes it pretty darn old that's for sure. Some point to the land being inhabited earlier though in roughly 8000 to 10,000 BC. Of course we aren't sure if it was being called Damascus in this time. As this name is so old we don't seem to be sure exactly where it comes from. One source claims that the name was present in the 15th century BC as TMSQ and evolved into Damascus from there. But how this name seems to predate the city itself I'm not too sure. As I said this is incredibly old stuff meaning things can get incredibly murky at the best of times. Though what is clear to us is that Damascus is incredibly old by any means and may be one of the oldest place names still in use. Another Middle Eastern capital with claims of being incredibly ancient is Beirut. Beirut is the capital city of the small nation of Lebanon. The area of Beirut has been inhabited for over 5,000 years, making it around the same age as Damascus. Some sources outright claim that it is older than the Syrian capital. It also seems to have held on to that name for all that time too. This name came about via Arabic and claimed it through Phoenician. It's thought to ultimately derive from Hebrew and mean the wells or or just wells. These wells reference the city's water supply. Not only is it incredible that this city and name are so old, but it's amazing we can figure out where the name came from, or at least have some kind of idea about it. You may think Egypt would have more of a claim in all this. It is seen by many as the de facto ancient part of the world. And while some of its structures date back thousands upon thousands of years, their names aren't unfortunately quite as old. Take the city of Giza, home to the pyramids. The ancient Egyptians called it Tipisus, and the modern city was only founded in 642 AD with that name. Likewise, Cairo, the nation's capitals, had different names in ancient Egyptian too. However, not all is lost in Egypt, as the city of Fayyam in Egypt is not only incredibly old, being inhabited since 5200 BC, but has maintained the use of that name which derives from Coptic. The name is believed to mean the sea or the lake, due to Lake Morlais which is very close to it. While Fayyam is a very old name, it seems the city had an even older name of Shadet. If this city had only held on to this name, then it would be a much more likely contender to be the oldest still in use place name. Still. Fayyam is a rather old name too, I suppose. Greece is heavily linked with antiquity, so it's not surprising to see they have claimed some ancient still in use names. One of those names and cities being, of course, their capital of Athens. Of course, the city is named after the Greek goddess. While its etymology isn't debated, what is debated is how long the area has been inhabited. The city's history has been recorded for over 3,000 years. However, it's believed to have been inhabited even before the history was being recorded. It's thought the land was inhabited as far back to the Neolithic period, which dates between 10,000 to 4,500 BC. Of course, we don't know if it was being called Athens during this time, though we seem to be confident in it being called Athens at least 3,000 years ago, which too makes it very old. However, it's not only Athens that has an ancient name claim, as the city of Argos is too thought to come from the Neolithic period. We have evidence of the city being inhabited around 7,000 years ago. We also have no other older names used for the settlement. As this name is so old, we don't seem to be too sure as to where it came from either, though there are Greek mythological characters with that name. I also read however it could mean things like white or plain. All these settlements however pale in comparison to the city of Jericho. This city is located in the West Bank and is believed to have been founded in 9000 BC, making it without doubt way older than any of the places mentioned in this video thus far. I guess I could have just started with this one, but it would make things far too short. In its 9000 years in existence, the city has been continually inhabited, and from what I can gather, it has always had that name. It also has a name in Arabic too. Aria. 
However, this doesn't seem to be a situation where one name overtook the other one, more these two names existing together. Jericho is a Hebrew name, and it's thought to come from a word meaning things like moon and month. It's thought the name as a reference to an ancient moon worshipping cult. Jericho is perhaps best known for its ancient protection, the famous Walls of Jericho, which a mark like myself just could not resist mentioning. These are just some incredibly ancient cities that still have incredibly ancient names. Please share some more with me down below if you think there are any major ones I forgot to mention. Sometimes I feel we get so fixated on new and changing things, we can forget to appreciate how impressive it can be for something to not change. And these ancient cities, that despite all the world and history have thrown at them, are not only still standing and homing thousands of people, but they've even been able to hold on to their original names. That is something I certainly find to be incredibly impressive. All discontinuous place names were suggested by Milani, and thanks to their suggestion, they will now be honoured as Name Explains patron saint of all discontinuous place names. Do you have a good idea for somewhere that's name could be covered in a Name Explained video? If so, then please consider donating on Patreon. Just $1 a month helps keep the channel running and earns you a weekly chance to suggest somewhere to be turned into a video, and you too could be a Name Explain Patreon saint. Thank you to all my patrons who support Name Explain on a monthly basis. Patron is vital to Name Explain and donating just $2 a month allows you to enjoy ad free videos and bonus patron exclusive content. It also allows you to help choose what names get explained in upcoming videos and gets your name here with all these awesome people. Thank you so much for all the support you guys give Name Explain. Thank you so much for reaching the end of the video. Check out another video and subscribe to stay in the loop on all things Name Explain. You can find me on Twitter, I'm at Name Explain YT. On Instagram, I'm also Name Explain YT. And on Facebook, just search Name Explain. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and once again, thank you all so much.